Well, ever sit down at a table and find more than one knife at the place setting? How do you know which one's for cutting and which one's for buttering your bread? Well, Live at Five's etiquette expert Vicki Bauer joins us now with all the details. And I'm assuming this one's for cutting my steak. I don't know That's about right. this That's one. That's a little canopy knife, but... Oh. But yes, this is a Texas State knife. Yes, that's a knife. I knew knife. that one. Okay, that's it. And how do you know you've got? You got so many knives. Seven but different knives. Eight you knives? should only have three knives. Only Whenever three. you do a formal place setting, you should only have uh, three knives, no more. Okay. And three forks. So you know you you can figure it out kind of as the courses go. If you, you don't know, you should be able to. Yeah, just observe. Just kind of you know back in the. Um, I guess it was the middle of the 16th century is when the knives came about. And and they would have daggers and mm -hmm. hunting knives, and they'd go into a large banquet hall, and as they walked in for the feast, they would take their knives and they'd have a whetstone there. Hence the expression, whet your appetite. Right. Okay, so that's how that came about. But today we have a, a formal dinner knife. Right. And then there's a luncheon knife that is somewhat smaller. A luncheon knife. knife. But sometimes we'll have two knives and it'll be a dinner knife and a salad knife. Okay? Okay. If you uh, sit down and, and you know in America we have our salad first. Mm -hmm. In Europe they do it opposite. Opposite. Okay. But Does if, that mean your salad knife would go Well it depends closest? on yes if that was if there were two knives this would be your you would have your salad knife, mm -hmm. work from the outside in, and then your dinner knife. Okay. Then there's a fish knife. Dull blade, point, usually a curved edge, and it's used for not really cutting, but for lifting that skeletal bone out of the fish. Okay. Okay, that's what a fish knife is for. Then you have a fruit knife that uh, has a pointed tip that is used to section or get seeds out. Okay. And um, you can have a, um, this would not be at the place setting, but a master butter knife that would be on the butter dish that would be passed around the table. Mm -hmm. And an individual butter knife that would go on your bread and butter plate. Oh, okay. I know, I know. <laughs> but then our favorite is the steak knife. Steak knife. And we need to put it at the top of the plate or the side of the plate, not, not, not like this. Okay. But the reason you always have the blade pointed towards you, mm -hmm. because back in medieval times, this was a sign of aggression. So you don't want to do that. We are, we are not aggressive. There we go. All right, Vicki, as always, some great tips, and I need to study my knives. Appreciate <laughs> it.